other than John Russell. I have to agree with you that it's all a bunch of plastic at the end of the day. Games have never had a monetary value to me. I have no interest in selling my small collection for profit. They are there for the memories, the bonding, and the enjoyment only. It's not about the size of the collection or the value of the re or the value uh, about the replayability. How many of these the YouTubers will go through their collection more than once? Will that third copy of Darksiders ever see more than the shelf it has been out on? Recently, my six-year-old son has become interested in what games I have. We have spent many a weekend going through most of them and letting him discover and learn all at the same time. It's allowed us to bond with a common interest and have a laugh. It has also allowed me to teach him that not all things can be replaced and you should respect what you have. As I said, I agree with you. At the end of the day, they are just plastic, but that plastic has allowed me to create new memories with my boy, not because of the size, the rarity or value, but because of the fun it has brought, the new memories they continue to give. In my eyes, that is all the value I need. Not to spoil the comment, but my son thinks you are Deadpool, and I would be over the moon if you said happy 7th birthday, as he is always aware you have replied to me in the past. Keep up the good work. Well, happy birthday there, son of John Russell. You know, as Deadpool, I often enjoy breaking the fourth wall. But you know what it would be a fantastic birthday gift that won't break the bank? Deadpool 2, now available on Blu-ray, DVD, and VHS in some areas. You said you're seven? I'm pretty sure that's all enough to watch my movie. John, I love when you said you should respect what you have. Uh, that can apply to game collecting, and that can apply to a lot of things in life. You know, it seems like so many people just focus on the monetary value of things, and they just focus on acquiring more things, even if they don't need it or they don't want it. Uh, how many people that have a lot of money? I was watching a, um, I was watching Bill Burr talk about a HBO special the other day, and it was about uh, a lot of these successful uh, athletes that went bankrupt. And you'd be surprised at how many NFL players actually went bankrupt because they just blew through all their money. They got mansions, they got cars, they got planes, you know, well, maybe not planes so much, but uh, yeah, maybe planes, I'm not sure. When you have an ungodly amount of money, some people just want to get rid of it. It's like the old saying, you know, you got money burning a hole in your pocket. I would say to people, you know, to value and respect what you have. And this constant thing that this constant fascination people have with just acquiring more and more and more. Um, it's worthless unless you're playing the games or you're using the things or sharing them with other people. Like Jay Leno has a garage <clears throat> and he must have like what a thousand cars in that garage. But you know, Jay actually drives the cars. You know, you'll see videos. I still think as many cars as he has is kind of pointless, but you know, he will drive the cars and he will tell you all different things about the cars. But there's a lot of people like Jay Leno that actually just collect a lot of cars and they never touch them. You know, I think about all the places and all the people that these cars could go to. That's how I feel about these game collectors. They collect all this stuff. But I think about all the people that would, you know, actually put those games to use. I mean, put them in their consoles and actually freaking play them.